Congratulations! Now that you've brought your Neato home, I'd like to walk you through a few simple steps to optimize your home for the best Neato performance. Place your charge base against the wall with 3 feet of clear space in all directions. Pick up any toys, socks, or other small sharp objects that could be sucked up by Neato. Pick up any cords that are lying on the ground as it could get tangled in the Neato's brush. You can place the magnet strips on the floor to mark off any areas you don't want the robot to go. Pay attention to pet bowls as water could damage the robot. Those were a few simple tips, here's a couple more. If you'd like the Neato to clean under your bed, be sure to lift your bed skirt up ahead of time. Also, the Neato can transition between different floors, so if you have any area rugs with long tassels, be sure to tuck the tassels underneath before Neato begins cleaning. Finally, it's very important to maintain your Neato on a regular basis. Empty the dirt bin and regularly clean the filter and brush. To set the clock on your Neato, open the menu and select Set Clock. Choose your preferred clock mode and set the time using the arrow buttons. When you're done, press save and your Neato's clock is now set. To schedule cleaning times, open the menu and select Schedule. Select Set or Change and choose the days you want your Neato to clean. Set your preferred starting time and confirm the details by pressing Add. Your Neato will now automatically clean at those times. To remove the cleaning times, open the menu and select Schedule. Select Remove Day. Choose the days you want to remove from your schedule with the arrow buttons and press Select. Confirm your deletion by pressing the Delete button, and Neato will no longer clean on those days. To empty your bin, remove your dirt bin from the Neato. Remove the filter from the dirt bin and empty the contents into the trash. Lightly tap the filter against the trash can to remove any stubborn debris. You could also use the cleaning tool to remove any debris built up within the pleats. Once the filter is clean, simply realign the tabs with the dirt bin and clip the filter back into place. Check inside the Neato's intake path for built up debris and hair. Place the dirt bin back into your Neato and you're ready to clean. For the Ultra Performance filter, simply pinch the tab, remove the filter from the bin and empty the contents. The mesh screen prevents any debris from building up within the pleats, so a light tap is sufficient to remove any stuck debris. Afterwards, realign the tabs Flip the filter back into place and check your Neato's intake for any built-up debris and hair. Place the dirt bin back into your Neato and you're ready to clean. To clean the brush, flip the robot over. Remove the side brush and locate the two clips at the back of the brush guard. Apply your thumbs underneath the clips and pull the brush guard away from the robot. Remove the brush from the brush cavity and use the cleaning tool to remove any hair or built up debris. It is also important to check the in caps for any hair, debris, or build up. Ensure everything is clean, reinsert the brush into the cavity, allowing the in caps into place. Reattach the brush guard by snapping the clips at the back. Finally, make sure there is no debris or hair built up into the side brush. Reinstall it and you're ready to clean. To fix a clear my path error, first check the top surface of the robot and make sure there is no debris that will prevent the robot from seeing properly. Flip the robot over. Ensure the wheels spin freely and the no hair or debris has built up in the brush. First, check the drop sensors at the left and right side and clean them with a con swab if any debris has accumulated. The wall follower on the side of the robot should be cleaned with a few bursts of compressed air or wipe with con swab. Finally, ensure there is nothing blocking the path of the robot preventing it from navigating safely. If 
you have any navigation issue in open space with message like please clear my path, you should clean your laser. Start by taking a con swab and use it to spin the laser platform five times in each direction. You can use a can of compressed air, placed six inches away from the lens of the laser, with a few short bursts to remove any stuck debris and dust from within the aperture. To connect your Neato robot to your Apple iOS device, start by downloading the Neato app from Apple App Store. Open the app, then select Create Account. Agree to the Terms of Service and Privacy Policy, then type in your email and a password. A verification will be sent to your email. Switch to your email app, tap the link, and your account is ready. Back in the Neato app, Sign in by entering your email address and password. You're now ready to connect your robot to your device. Press the Connect Your Robot button and select your robot model. Next, make sure your Neato Robot's Wi-Fi is turned on. Press the Select button, use the arrows to choose Settings, select Wi-Fi, and press Select to check the Wi-Fi box. Return to the robot's home screen and look for the Wi-Fi icon in the upper left corner of the LCD. This indicates that the robot is creating a temporary network for your phone. On the app, tap Next. You'll now connect your phone to the robot's temporary network. In your phone's settings app, tap Wi-Fi and choose the network that begins with Neato. Once you're connected, return to the Neato app and tap Next. Choose the network you want to connect to. If you don't see your network, tap the bottom of the screen to type in the name of a hidden network and its password. Tap Done. Give your Neato robot a name and tap Done. On your robot's LCD, you'll see the blinking X, which means the robot is attempting to connect to your network. Once it's connected, it will change to blinking bars, which means your robot is now using your network to connect to the Neato server. Once the bars stop blinking, the network connection is complete. You'll see a robot setup successful message. Your robot is now connected to the Neato app and is ready to clean. To connect your Neato robot to your Android device, start by downloading the Neato app from the Google Play Store. Open the app, then select Create Account. Agree to the Terms of Service and Privacy Policy. Then type in your email and password. A verification will be sent to your email. Switch to your email app, tap the link, and your account is ready. Back in the Neato app, sign in by entering your email address and password. You're now ready to connect your robot to your device. Press the Connect Your Robot button and select your robot model. Next, make sure your Neato robot's Wi-Fi is turned on. Press the Select button. Use the arrows to choose Settings. Select Wi-Fi and press Select to check the Wi-Fi box. Return to the robot's home screen, look for the Wi-Fi icon in the upper left corner of the LCD, indicating that the robot is creating a temporary network for your phone to connect to. Return to the app and tap Connect to Robot Access Point. Wait until your phone automatically connects to your robot. If your network isn't listed, type in the network name and proceed to connect. Give your Neato robot a name and tap Next. Back on your robot's LCD, you'll see the blinking X, which means the robot is attempting to connect to your home network. Once it's connected, it will change to blinking bars, which means your robot is now using your network to connect with the Neato server. When the bar stops blinking, the network connection is complete. You'll see a mobile setup successful message. 
The robot is now connected to the Neato app and is ready to clean. To maximize battery life, keep the brush clean and free of debris to avoid motor strain. Regularly check to ensure that nothing has built up in the brush area. Keep Neato on the charge base when not in use. If you're planning to go away for long periods of time, remove the dirt bin and flip the switch to the off position.